It's quite remarkable what the Trudeau Liberal government did the other night as Canadians slept past midnight, passing through legislation in a committee, ramming it through, forcing it through, not letting the amendments be discussed, debated on, saying we gotta be done with this even though there is much more discussion to be had, legislation that effectively empowers a government agency to censor the internet, to regulate your user-generated content. That's what they call it. Posts that you may put up to TikTok or YouTube doing anything, like perhaps criticizing the government. And now an agency called the CRTC could be empowered to actually take down your posts and regulate it. What on earth is going on here? Well, a lot of top experts in the field have been condemning this. This is Bill C-11. It was originally known as Bill C-10. So much criticism against it last year. And the Liberals said, look, we hear your concerns and, and we'll, we'll deal with it. We're going to take these difficult parts out. And there's a whole bunch of other things in the bill. And we'll just keep that stuff, leave it at that. Well, then they brought in the bill under the different guise, under the different name of Bill C-11. And most of that stuff is still there. And the same experts who cried foul a year ago are saying, watch out, we got a situation here. And yet the Liberal government just wouldn't take out those aspects that empower them to censor the internet. Now, what's interesting is that the government has said, uh, don't worry, we're, we're not actually going to use these provisions. And the chair of the CRTC, he has said, yeah, we, we're not actually going to do that stuff. We, we don't really need to worry ourselves with all of that. So then I guess the expert said, oh, okay, great. So just do the amendments and take it out. Take out the stuff empowering you to regulate user-generated content. And then we're all good, right? And then the other stuff you need, fine, we'll debate it. But, you know, it's not as bad as this stuff. But they didn't do it. They didn't take out the offending parts. And now we're left in a situation where the government has been warned last year and this year, this is online censorship. And they've actually kind of acknowledged it's problematic and then never got rid of it. So they say they're not planning to use it, but why don't they remove it then? What can help us now? What's the next steps in all of this? Well, what they did in this process was they actually took the bill from committee, rammed it through committee where the changes are usually made. It's gonna to go to final reading in the House of Commons. It's believed that the NDP will support it. And then, well, it's passed in the House of Commons, but it goes to the Senate. And it'll be up to the Senate to get rid of this bill, to completely trash it because it's so flawed, to do major changes to it, or, well, maybe to pass it as is. But if they do, well, that would be a big problem. That would show that the upper chamber is not the chamber of sober second thought that it was made out to be, and that all those recent new independent appointments by Justin Trudeau are perhaps no, not so independent after all. So we'll see what happens, but right now, online censorship, while it's creeping closer and closer to being on the books, and only the Senate can save us now.